jacked about that. Somebody who's actually helped advance both film and television in this country is Paul Gross, the perfect person to count down the trailblazers, the builders, and the innovators who created some of the first, well, the big firsts in Canadian film. Thanks, George. Let's take a look behind the curtain at some of the firsts in Canadian film. Fast Runner, Atta Narjewood. Sometimes films speak to a broader moment in the culture. The first Inuktitut language feature film, it won a genie for best picture. And thanks to the film's director, Zacharias Kunuk, the journey for Aboriginal filmmakers to the podium was not as long as it once was. Porky's. Porky's is still classified as the highest grossing film in Canadian history. Damn it, I told you we were gonna miss him. A group of Florida teens attempt to lose their virginity, which is another first and a titanic effort for some of us growing up. And speaking of which, James Cameron, Titanic. The first Canadian to win an Oscar for Best Director, he's used his influence to help protect the world's oceans. He was the first to travel solo to the deepest part of the ocean's depths, the 11 kilometer deep Mariana Trench. It's so badass. The first films produced in Canada were shot in 1897 by Manitoba farmer James Freer, and they had captivating titles like Six Binders at Work in a 100 Acre Wheat Field. And let's not forget his other hits, Let's All Watch My Grass Grow and Dude, Where Is My Tractor? All right, back to you, George. I've got two tickets to Let's Watch My Grass Grow. Excuse me. I bet you, I bet you with Paul Gross as the star of Let's Watch My Grass Grow, he would get funding. <laughs> he would absolutely get funding. Uh, it's so great to have Paul uh, be a part of the show. Our guest tonight is a legend. And he's, he's like, he's just, he's the finest. He is not only nominated uh, for a CSA on Sunday, but he's also obviously the host of, and I'm talking about Martin Short. Look at what Martin Short has done. SCTV, Saturday Night Live,